Part two, soldering your capacitor. People struggle with this one too. And I've seen people who actually burn them up. And what it is, is, you know, you're focusing on a couple of things and not paying attention to a couple more. So that's the thing about soldering. Again, I can't stress it enough. Get something that's going to hold your parts together because that's really half the battle. So as you can see here, I already tied the wire, the lead coming off of the capacitor to the eyelet right there. That's going to help out. Watch. I got 595 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's hot. And that's why I try to do it as fast as I can, especially on a component like this. So here we go. It's in your tip. Get a little gobby, it's fine. No worries, you're starting out. Put it in between both parts. Boom. Okay. Yep. It has to be shiny because if it's not shiny. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. It's not going anywhere, guys. Look, see how that's flexing right there? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Now you can say, hey, you're soldering that with the letters upside down. Well, lefty, you're working on your guitar. See that? Volume, tone, down, up. Okay. So you could get fancy or you could just solder it the way it is. Some people turn these around and put them like inside here. It looks pretty, pretty cool. Oh, shit. Let's try that. So let me over bend this lead to where when I press this down, it's actually holding right there. Okay. It's right there. Making contact right there. That's really all you need. Let's shorten the distance up a little bit. Right there. Okay, so same thing. <clears throat> what I do is I clean my tip every time on my soldering pen. And then I put some more stuff in there. Clean it up again. Nice clean tip. Make sure that if you do have solder in your tip, it's got rosin on it. Okay, a little bit there. And then just make sure, that's why I like these chisel tips. Make sure... You touch both surfaces, the lead and the housing of the potentiometer. So let's try it. Okay. Three, four, five. Boom. Okay. Let's see how strong it is. Let's get some pliers. Let's tug on this thing. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. So that's it. So I had, I had said before that I didn't have anything to put these on, but actually I'm probably going to put them on my PRS Santana because <clears throat> I kind of went fast when I fixed, when I uh, bored the cavity. I don't know if you, any of you guys saw that video, but I turned a righty Santana into a lefty Santana uh, thanks to my, my router and a, a couple of hours of work and just planning it out and routing out new cavities. I got a video on that. And so I soldered up the electronics just to fire it up, and, you know, I think it deserves nicer, nicer pots. So these will go into the Santana. As far as capacitors, if you guys want to get into that, this is a regular capacitor, 0 0.022. If you guys want to buy, um, stick with the ceramic that came in your guitar, or you guys want to buy something different like orange drops, go ahead. My opinion on capacitors is even if you buy the same brand, the same material type capacitor, sometimes the taper feels different. So it really comes down to whatever makes you feel better. So if you want to blow 30 bucks on a paper and oil capacitor, go ahead. I have uh, Pios on one of my strats and they feel great, but I really can't tell the difference between that and a regular orange drop or even a, a ceramic like this one. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, taking it one step at a time, and it's going pretty clean. And that's what it's all about. Part two in the books.